Doris founded the company in 1977. She and her family fled uh, Germany and migrated to Paris and Brooklyn. She was always looking for ways to give back to her country and she saw energy efficiency as a way to contribute. She was an innovator and inventor herself. Many people don't know that she held several U.S. patents. She liked to tinker around and, and make things and invent things. I found out the real history and Doris's mission and that the company was woman-owned and woman-run, and it really drew me in. The things that we found out, she was such a, an incredible, incredible pioneer in this field and in the field of economics. I was always very impressed by the people around me, and our, our leadership team is, is incredible. It's a company that I admired just because of it was woman-based and woman-owned. They were doing something not just to make money for themselves, but to help people, and that was important to me. I was fortunate enough to meet Doris only once. She was really a force, you could tell. And I think she was just very proud to see the company at that point in time grow as much as it had, and probably knowing that she's leaving a legacy that could even be more. After Doris died five years ago, her daughters, Judith and Mimi, had a decision to make. They had to decide how much time do they really want to dedicate to this company, or did they want to sell the company? They talked and they decided to reinvest to make it even stronger. Today, uh, we have about 23 utility and government contracts all servicing some kind of conservation or energy efficiency from inspecting the work to actually implementing or designing the program. CMC was not just putting in light bulbs and that's it. I felt like they really looked at the end user and tried to make them understand exactly what they were saving, understand, you know, what was going to happen. It's an honor to be a part of a company that understands that because I'm an end user, so I want somebody to treat me like that. Far too often we will get a call um, where a customer didn't have any heat in their home or they need a refrigerator because they have medicine and they have, you know, diabetes, insulin in their refrigerator and it's broken. And we're able to really come to the aid within 24 hours. Last week I heard a comment card from someone who was very grateful that one of our auditors stayed an extra 45 minutes to help her fix the uh, remote control. I guess the most famous story that I hear is how we saved the customer so much she was able to buy an extra pack of hot dogs. I look at a pack of hot dogs and I'm like, okay, but for her, that was a big deal. This individual's daughter actually wrote us and told us that it changed her life just by being able to save on her utility bill. We get those wonderful calls and reviews really on a daily basis and here's why um, we're really helping others. We CMC hope that by having people employed here, giving them good jobs, giving them good salaries, that we're touching their lives and then every day they get to touch other people's lives and make them better. I'm very proud to work here. I think what I enjoy the most is that the company supports my ideas and my uh, desire to help others, to mentor other people. Some of the mentoring activities is just to take others under my wing and try to show them what I'm doing, make sure that they're supported, make sure that they have a path to grow in their careers as well. I wanted to join CMC because it was a personal fit for me. I really wanted to make a difference in my community. I believe that CMC offered uh, a different culture which can offer personal growth and development for myself and others. I've been supported from my direct supervisor all the way up to the president, the CEO, um, and I think at any other company you would never receive that direct support. We've seen the company flourish even more every year after year. We've added the whole northeast section to the company with quality assurance, multi-family businesses and some retail business, and even the commercial industrial program in New Jersey it has been all new ventures for us. Two years ago, we acquired a company called CRI in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and that has been a very good addition to the company. We have the capacity also to move employees around. So as different programs uh, flex, uh, based on seasonality, based on need, based on goal changes. We're able to move those resources around and meet our goals. The utilities see this and they know that if they need a problem solved or a new innovative solution that we'll jump on it and we'll figure out a way to get it done. And I think in the next 10 years, some of the managers like Tom McAteer and Tom Hill, Chris Haranga in Connecticut, who are the real innovators, the utility industry will be looking toward them for the new ideas. I was just looking for a new family. 
was looking for a career and when I walked in it was just like something clicked that said this is home. I guess my view of what I do is just try to help people and make sure that their lives are more comfortable and their homes are healthy and safe. It's really not about the energy sometimes anymore. It's really about the customer experience. It's like a, a big family. <laughs> you know, like it sounds very cliche to say that, but it really, here it truly is that way. At the end of every day, I feel good. I'm bringing brightness into the world. I'm saving the world one light bulb, one power strip at a time. It's